we are building a chicken coop today we have two chicken coops right now but they are very small and not they're not cute and they're not functional per se because we want to have more chickens right now we have three and we want to be to have more so that's what we're building today um why are we building it ourselves because we can there's so much stuff we've built over the past couple of months that I'm building it. <laughs> I'm building. Oh my gosh! I'm beginning to learn that limits are only in your mind. If you if you wait for people to do things for you, you will never do. And if you stay believing that some things are only done by some people and you can't do it, you will never do it. So this is us building a chicken coop. the part I was stable here. This is what we are working with. This is wood we've recycled. Um, the fence used to be this bows, this off cuts. So we're just recycling this instead of buying new bow. Um, so this will be part of the of the wall of the house and then we have some mabati so we're going to do part like ukuchini um this mbaos and then the wall ju to be like mabati like this nini wall here so the bottom will be mbao and then the top will be mabati like so yeah my task is to look for mbao that will we're using as the frame and for the bottom part of the the house some of this wood is really eaten up like checking this one this is what it looks like so far we have the frame and then the wall is that um wall is going to be one of the four walls then the frame is here so you see the bow is at the bottom then the floor will be the ground we won't put um wood on the floor and then this will be the height of the height of the house. It will be this high. So this is what it looks like right now. It's sort of the frame. So you can see mama working. The frame of it. constructing the chicken house see i look like an actual fundi with my pencil in my ear <laughs> okay let me show you the progress so this is how we left it day one um there's no roof yet just walls on we're gonna use that as a wall and on this side and then i had the idea to build uh, like a nesting place over here that's why we put this wood here and then we'll attach this wood and put like sawdust and feathers to make a cozy place for the chickens that will be laying eggs or the chickens just want to chill with their eggs <laughs> underneath there we'll put soda so that it's nice and cozy and then we were thinking of also putting this wood pieces so that 
we have patches for the chickens because chickens like to patch up like regular birds so the, that's why we have this wood and there are two of them there's another one over there Thing, fixing right now is the door which will be here i know it's pretty hard to see but in update we have a door at least my brother has helped us um install it now we're just installing this car this pole that we'll use to what is it called to attach the door lock to nakoraga city apple and then this is a door it used to be a gate and we have just thought instead of installing individual pieces of wood we can just put it here as a wall then it will be really easy instead of getting wood cutting to size and then you know it's easy this is the progress we have walls we have window we're now figuring out the roofing which is a lot of work this is very 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 exhausting the challenge we are having is if we put the abati flat how where will the water go if it rains we don't want the water to get into the house because it will actually get into the house we want it to flow somewhere yeah? so that's what we're testing right now it's proving to be very difficult uh building with a uh, slanted roof because we are not even thought about it when we started the planting no, we need we started um when we started uh building so i'm just getting some water so that we figure that out. i don't even need to test this one i think the water will just flow this way because we have very short mabatis yeah but we get tired <laughs> Doing roofing today. This is day three of building that Kukuku house. And I'm ready for it to be over. I'm just, I'm done. I'm tired. I can't do this. I don't think I can do this for, for work. Like it's a lot of work. I have mad respect to do. So what we're doing right now is um, putting up the support beams for the roof. Like the true queens, we want to think of whether the the roof will go will be flat or slanted and we thought of that later so we have had to like get new bow to support the roof and that's what we are doing now we are just inserting the bows right now it's a lot of work Anna. and I'm, I'm ready for this to be over I'm just cutting it to, to size. Okay, so we've set up the support system, the bows on top here, and we are going to add in the roof, but we've thought we should add in, because the roof will come up to here, we should add in bows to fill up this space, as well as this space, and it will be prudent to do it before we add in the mabati, because it will be 
I reckon it would be much more difficult to add in after add them in hey add them bows in after so the roof is supposed to slant this way so that when it rains the water will hopefully run to this amaranth patch over here yeah We have a room. I know what I'm gonna sky up. This sky up, Tagia. Tagia. Hapa nyumba. I mean, uh, feeding trough. Hapa. Do Kingia who have to go through chickens, go and do We have the whole house done, at least the outside structure, like the cuckoos can live inside right now. What is left is uh, making the, the food trough sort of thing and a place where they will um, lay eggs in. So this is inside, let me do a house tour. We'll build the, the laying place over there and then here. We, we are today we are building up a place for a feeding trough so you can see it's quite lighted because of the mesh and also because of this skylight mazewa kona had skylight yeah and then we added in this boards they're not perfectly installed but it's fine this um plywood boards on this side and on this side i guess we should also put on the other side for warmth because when it gets cool like in august wah, they really struggle I, I, I really feel sorry for them so that's why we have the plywood boards in here otherwise yeah we are pretty much done i'm so excited <laughs> i've never built anything so this is really so much fun so much fun it's, it's so much fun having it it's not it's not fun building <sighs> building is so much work what what i can't do this every day like by yesterday i was just done like i was done i didn't want to do it anymore it's exhausting especially because you're using manual tools like the saw because the saw is so much stuff like doing it manually uh, as in is enough. but yeah we're done i will we'll just do the rest of it and then i will show you and then maybe later i will buy i will purchase some um paint so that i can paint a always had a vision of having a yellow chicken coop or a just a bright colored chicken coop so i'm gonna get some paint later and then we're going to paint the outside at least of the chicken coop so that it can look cute and then i'm gonna plant some flowers outside like i have, I have a whole <laughs> a whole vision <laughs> yeah but this has been fun i'll just show you the rest of it and then yeah thank you for watching this video we have a feeder we just copied some of the very common structures that we usually have for feeders with this kind of thing here so that they don't enter inside the the feeder this is where we put the food obviously feeding trough nests chickens 